number one question I get from my fans is how do I become a visual engineer? So can somebody go to college to learn visual engineering? Unfortunately not. There's no college or university or program anywhere around the world that teaches visual engineering. Isn't that crazy? So let's break down the words. We have visual and we have engineering. So that means somebody that uses engineering to make visuals. I think it's as simple as that. So let's break down the visual side of this equation. So for those of you that want to become visual engineers, I think it's important to first learn the storytelling and creative image making process. You can go to film school, you can go to photography school, you can just learn it on your own, just like really practicing and doing a lot of really cool creative stuff. But at the end of the day, you were storytellers first. So as a still photographer, I was trained on how to make really beautiful still photos and beautiful visuals. So I brought that perfection as a still photographer into the films I make today. So for the engineering students out there that want to become visual engineers, I say, first, go out and become a storyteller. When a client comes to me with a brief, the first thing I have to do is lay out my story, the storyboard, the script, and how I'm going to tell this story. So to sum up the visual side of visual engineering, basically you're telling a story and you're telling it in a really beautiful way using traditional film techniques like beautiful lighting, lensing, and composition. So that sums up the visual side pretty well. Now let's talk about the engineering side. So engineer is basically the application of scientific principles to build machines or to solve problems. We bring together all sorts of different disciplines of engineering in the work that we do. We do electrical engineering, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, you name it, all the engineering. So for example, when we build our own LED lights, we apply a lot of electrical engineering to that. We're building our own circuit boards, and on that we have to learn what transistors and MOSFETs and resistors and power and amperage and all these things are, which are basics of electrical engineering. So I'm not actually a real engineer, I'm just applying engineering to the work that we make creating visuals. Does it count that my dad, my brother, my uncle, my grandfather, and a bunch of other people in my family are all engineers and I kind of grew up in that world? I mean, I think it definitely helped. So how did I become a visual engineer if you can't go study it somewhere? So I went to college and I studied advertising photography. I didn't study visual engineering. So how did I become a visual engineer? It was all the things I did after college and all the self-teaching and learning and exercise and practice that got me where I am today. So I think that covers the visual side and the engineering side and how we put them all together to create really cool images. So when you're trying to do visual engineering yourself, I think it's really important to realize it's a very scientific process. So what do I mean by this? Well, basically, we have a lot going on in our shoots if you've watched our BTS. So how do we nail down that perfect moment? The scientific method. In some ways, it's like conducting a symphony. You want to make sure that each musical instrument, each part of it is working properly and knows what it has to do before you bring them all together. So let's say the robot moving the product. Let's do that first. So we want this Coke bottle to, let's say, spin around. So we program that move until we're happy with it. Then we're going to splash it with some liquid. So let's get the catapult in and let's get that movement right. Then we bring in the camera robot and maybe we'll program that move and make sure that's coming together right. So we keep bringing all these little pieces together until we get that perfect shot. Because if you're changing multiple things at the same time, it's hard to tell what is doing the right thing, what is helping you, what is hurting you. So it's really important to just change one thing at a time. I really hope this breakdown helps those of you that want to become visual engineers understand what is involved. So now let's talk about homework. So last week I challenged you all to shoot a video about a routine of yours in isolation. You guys did some really cool stuff. I'm so impressed by the work that people put together and shared. So this week's homework is tied into exactly what I just talked about. I want you to use visual engineering to help tell a story. I want you to build something, whether it's mechanical, electrical, or something you just repurpose that you have around the house to tell a cool story in a different way. So how we're gonna work this is every Friday I'm gonna assign you a new homework assignment. You have a few days to do it and then post it on Instagram and hashtag it creativity in isolation. I'll then look through all the work and right here, I'll go through some of my favorites and share them with everybody. And then the next Friday, I'll give you another homework assignment and so on and so forth. These homework assignments could be really fun and you could do some really creative stuff if you push yourself a little bit. So I think that's it for this week. Please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and share this with anybody that might be interested. And if you haven't done it yet, 
please sign up for our Kickstarter campaign to make sure that you're on board when we're ready to launch it. Once this isolation is all over, the hope is to launch the Kickstarter campaign to start the garage learning for real. When we launch the garage learning for real, we're gonna have a dedicated 10 person staff in space and it's gonna be a true company dedicated to teaching this. There'll be a dedicated website and forum and portal and way for you guys to exchange information and share all the things that you're doing. Plus, we'll launch all the really cool kits that we've been working on that you could buy and build yourself at home. We're super excited for what the garage learning is gonna be, but for that, we need to do the Kickstarter to raise some money. So I hope that you guys can support us and share this with all your friends. And please everybody, coronavirus is really serious, so I hope you stay indoors, stay safe, and stay creative. Stop it! What am I stopping? Stop recording. Oh, you want me to stop it? Yeah. Like right now? Yeah.